All right, Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I wanna to show how to connect a skeleton to the skin. Right now, if I click on this, I can see that if I move this, the skeleton moves correctly, but the skin does not come along for the ride. Okay, so what's going on? What's the next step? Well, the first thing I wanna do, I wanna be in object mode and I'm gonna select the body and then shift select the joints. And it does matter the order that I do this. I'm gonna hit control P as in parent and I'm gonna choose set parent two with automatic weights, okay? Now what that did is it automatically kind of really got us in a good spot because now if I go back to pose mode, I can select this and I can move this and I can see that that comes along for the ride, okay? Now there could be some areas where you might notice that it's uh, like, for example, here I can see that it's kind of pulling on that area here. So I'm just gonna kind of address how to fix that or how would we even kind of control that? So let's go back to object mode and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the bones first this time, then shift select the body, and up here I'm gonna to go to weight paint, okay? Now, when I do that, if I go to x-ray, I can see the bones, and if I control click on one, I can see some color. And what that color indicates is that where it's red, it's gonna have the most influence, and if it's blue, it's gonna have zero influence. Okay, to illustrate this better, if I press N, I can bring up my side toolbar. I'm gonna to go to tool, and here's my paintbrush. So let's say, and I wouldn't want to do this, but just to illustrate a point, let's say if I paint it down here, and if this was solid red, okay? Remember I said red has a lot of influence. So that means that if the um, if this now moves, if I go to, um, I'll go to object mode, then I'll go to pose mode. Okay, so I want to click on, uh, let's see. Pose mode. Now, if I click on this, I can see that that moves. And if you kind of remember how that was red, we can kind of see that. So um, now instead of, you can see it's kind of cumbersome to kind of go back to pose mode like that. So what I usually like to do is I, I like to set a keyframe. So I will take this and I'll press I, and I'm gonna say location and rotation, and it's gonna set a keyframe there. Then I'm gonna move this further, and then I'm gonna kind of Maybe bring this to kind of maybe here, press I, and again, kind of out here. So I'm doing kind of what's called a, a stress test, okay? And then I, now I can just scrub back here instead of kind of going all, always to pose mode, which was kind of annoying to, to do. Then I can also see it correctly. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look here. So if I jump out to object mode, I'll click on this and go back to weight paint. Now I can see that, hey, there's a problem there. And if I scrub through, I can kind of see it reacting. So what I could do is I could put my weight to zero. And now when I paint, it's like I'm painting with blue. Okay. Whoa, I don't want to do all of that. I just want to do a little bit. There we go. And now when I scrub through, I can see that it's fixed. Now I can see it's still uh, responding a little bit down here. So I can kind of go like that. And you can kind of start to see, because we might want a little bit of influence here. Um, so I can kind of maybe do a little bit of influence and you can kind of start to see that I can kind of do like that. Um, and you can really start to see how we can uh, make those adjustments. Also, like maybe like in here, like on the arm, sometimes that I might want more influence. So maybe I'll have go like this and say, hey, it's okay to have more influence down here. And it might mo look more like kind of like a an arm flexing and, and moving. So now if I scrub through, I can kind of see how it looks like it's bending more, right? Or, or creasing more instead of kind of just kind of folding. Um, and you can kind of play with that. And then if I play, you know, kind of um, did some more out here, it could kind of look more like an elbow. And I feel like one thing I should mention is that the geometry, how many polygons it is, is going to make a huge difference in, um, your ability to paint weight properly. So I feel like um, if I can't get this arm to look like it's folding properly, it may uh, mean that I may need more edge loops in there, okay? And um, so that means that I would have to do that before I get to the paint weighting stage and kind of evaluate the mesh, make sure that it's exactly what I want. Also notice that when I was keyframing it, 
I had the arm at the original default position and I keyed it there. I always want to do that. Like I don't care what happens afterwards because I'm just going to delete those keys anyway. Um, if I go back to object mode, select that and go to pose mode, I can just select this and I can simply just delete these keyframes, right? I don't, th those are just kind of junk keyframes. Those are just testing it. So now let's say if I was going to test the leg, I would come down here and I would just, again, that's its original position. So I'm fine. I'm going to press I and then I'm going to come up here, you know, kind of do a stress test, if you will, press I. And now I can kind of go like that. And um, again, go back to object mode, select this guy's body, go to weight paint. And now again, if I hold down control, click on this. Whoa. Oh, I think I actually I need to um, be select that first, then that. Now I have to go to weight paint. There we go. Because if you don't click on the skeleton, you're not going to have it there. So now I need now I have it there. So now if I scrub through, um, you, you know I can make my adjustments and I can kind of see it color coordinated. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. But this idea of weight painting, um, you know sometimes. I feel like it does a pretty good job for us, but occasionally we might need to uh, help it out here or there. So again, this is how you do um, weight paints in Blender.